someone has come out on social media and、uh, claimed to be someone who used to be a friend of George Santos at the time, Anthony, and is explaining that George Santos used to be a drag queen in Brazil. And if you know me, if you know my beliefs, my values, you understand. Wonderful, no problem. So why is it a story? Well, because George Santos has joined the party that has spent the last however many years demonizing and threatening and harassing drag queens, saying they're coming for your children and their agenda is to groom the children of America. And it's been so hurtful to so many people's lives. And when George Santos wanted to express himself, when he wanted to have fun, perform, whatever it might have been, of course he didn't want to be demonized. Then, when he wanted power, when he wanted to be in the Republican Party, he's going to sign up for an agenda and bolster rhetoric and push for policies that will demonize people who want to have that same fun, express themselves in those ways, and perform in all those different things that George Santos celebrated until he wanted power. So sickening, and another example of the hypocrisy, dishonesty of. George Santos. Now, he is claiming that this is not true,、um, and I, at this point in time, can't 100% verify that it is. But here's this being put out on the World Wide Web: a photo of George Santos, apparently, allegedly, in drag. Which again, that is completely unimportant. It only matters because of the hypocrisy. And generally, looks like a blast. Here's this、um, individual, Eula Rochard, coming out and saying that they knew George Santos. Knew. I just spoke by phone with Eula Rochard, a Brazilian drag queen who was friends with George Santos when he lived near Rio. She said everyone knew him as Anthony, never George, or by his drag name Katara, and confirms that this photo is him in 2008. And it's hard. Obviously to see, but、um, you can kind of get a gist there. So again, if this isn't true, that doesn't change the incredible dishonesty of George Santos, the hypocrisy in so many different areas, and the way in which he has actually signed up for an agenda that would hurt individuals going through an experience that you would think he would be more sympathetic to because of his past experiences and his current. Identity, right? So him being a gay man, you would think he would have more sympathy for the lives that are being worsened by policies that he he's going to support within the Republican Party, but he's not. Same thing with this. If it is true that he was a drag queen in Brazil, he is going to push for other people who want to have similar amounts of fun, similar,、um, you know, activities to be demonized for that and called. Groomers for that, and he won't speak out against it. Now, here's him, for fairness's sake, denying this. The most recent obsession from the media claim that I am a drag queen or perform as a drag queen is categorically false. The media continues to make outrageous claims about my life while I'm working to deliver results. I will not be distracted nor phased by this. And this is similar to the denial he put out there yesterday about the dog that he. Used to scam money out of a disabled veteran. Yes, you heard me correctly. The reports that would let a dog die is shocking and insane. You're right, shocking and insane, but likely true. My work in animal advocacy was the labor of love and hard work. Over the past 24 hours, I have received pictures of dogs I helped reduce throughout the years, along with supportive messages. These distractions won't stop me. And what we said yesterday about his denial was, it means nothing. From someone who has proven themselves to be so deeply, to the bone, to the soul, to the core, dishonest in stunning ways. So your word means quite literally nothing. And quickly, what this reminds me of is my parents. Wonderful, wonderful parents. Absolutely、uh, spectacular. And one of the things that I think made our chemistry good and healthy was the reason why I. Feared doing bad things was not because they were gonna be, you know, super angry and aggressive, and I feared that it wasn't that. It was they were gonna be disappointed, kind of the typical "I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed" line. And 
with them, when I got caught in a lie, they would say, Luke, we had a circle of trust, and they would do this with their hands. We had a circle of trust, and you broke it, and then they would break the circle. This is a true story. Um, and that would always cause my little heart, my little 13-year-old lion heart, to break as the circle broke. And this is what I wish I could explain to George, Anthony, Zabrowski, Santos, Katara, DeVolder, whatever it might be. Sir, you had a circle of trust when you first entered the world, and you didn't break it. I've broken a circle of trust, but as my parents once said, it takes a long time. It's gonna be, it's an unfortunate situation, but eventually we can recreate that, reheal that circle of trust. George Santos has taken that circle. He didn't even, he didn't break it like this. He took it, threw it in a garbage disposal, found where the garbage disposal had gone in the pipe, gotten that, incinerated it, taken the dust, put it in a lake, took the entire body of water with the lake, put it in a plane, threw it in a, a volcano. Whoa, that almost escaped me. That's what happened with George Santos' circle of trust. So when his word is escaped from his mouth on anything, a denial like this, I don't care. I don't care because our circle of trust is non-existent and you are incredibly dishonest. So again, I say, if he was a drag queen, wonderful. He's a huge hypocrite. And this is another example of it. If he wasn't, and these are false um, claims of past friendships, then nothing really changes. But it is fascinating for sure. And I want to make the prediction now that if this keeps getting discussed, this, not all the lies, not all the vile dishonesty, not all of the <laughs> possible, you know, the scams and the financial things that are um, questionable. This is the most likely thing to cause the Republican Party to turn on him. And that's sad. That's very sad.